kicking off the season again, you guys. Um, for anybody tuning in, didn't hear yeah. before, this is the start of the PGR U. You know, we got four different tiers that rank the tournaments coming forth now and the season ending right before EVO. Um, the tiers, depending on what the tournaments and how significant they are, rely on entrance, um, how many entrances they are, and of course, right. with being over 2,000. We got Day to Day, DDD versus Cloud. Almost, almost gets the shield break. Oh my goodness. Yeah, DDD being insane. They actually nerfed his Gordos in the in the yeah. patch, but obviously we're since we're playing pre-patched, uh, Gordos still being as strong as they are. Yeah, no, the the, the Gordos are super strong. Yeah, pre. Oh, and he's done. He's doing the lay down. He's doing the lay down animation. Taking a nap on him. Yeah. I. I didn't get to see his face, but I wonder if this is the same uh, Atomus from um, Melee and other uh, Smash He's games. been around for a while. Right, He's yeah, been the, for the a name while. is very, very familiar. I believe I, I recognize him from Brawl. From Brawl? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's where I'm recognizing him from too. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I know he's friends with a lot of uh, tri-state peeps, so I'm not too sure if he's uh, close in that region. But yeah, I, I definitely have heard of him before. I've seen him play too. Definitely seen him in other Smash games for sure. Yeah, and you got Vaughn, of course, trying to space himself out and trying to close out the stock. It could be a little tricky to close out stocks against DDD as he does. He's a heavyweight, and he, it is difficult um, to try to close it out whenever he's got the lead on you. Yeah, does have limit now, which would make it a little bit easier if he lands any of those moves. Oh, doesn't quite get it. 172% though from DDD. Oh man, every little percent that DDD gets is so aggravating. Oh, he combos him into it. You are a volunteer. Okay. 108 extra percent for DDD. And man, the Gordos are so yeah, difficult to deal with. Yeah, they it's just a literally a huge hitbox. If he actually gets hit by the Gordos right now, I believe he, especially close to the blast he will oh, kill him. But nice. retaliating back, hitting the Gordo back. There you go. That's one way to do it. Oh, and the back again. The back was turned with DDD, so it couldn't do any uh, shield grab option. Oh, you saw that dash attack. That dash attack actually reaching up uh, below the ledge a little bit. Right. Um, it can clip people, especially uh, characters. Oh, oh that was. Oh. I would say it was. It would have been worth it if he actually got the yeah. SD like with the KO. KO yeah, right. alongside with him. That that's quite unfortunate, but uh, nonetheless, a great attempt at the same time. Yeah, I think the the, the idea was right, just because the percents were such a big deficit for him. But yeah, okay. as I was mentioning, it could be a little. Uh, I don't think Cloud clips the ledge anymore, like his regular recovery, um, and it could be a little tricky for him to get back onto the stage if he finds himself getting contested, Jeez. getting hit by the ledge, and it's kind of difficult for Cloud to recover as well. But it really is, especially with the Gordos. Oh yeah, it is. It's definitely the same Atomus. Okay, I didn't get a chance to see his face. Yeah, he's definitely been around for a few Smash games. He's been in uh, Melee, been in, I guess Brawl too, perhaps. I do remember him from Melee. I believe he's a Puff player in Melee, if I'm, if I'm remembering this right. <laughs> but he has been around. I like yeah. seeing the Smash veterans come yeah. out for Ultimate. Same, man. That's, uh, it's, it's refreshing because I know a lot of people um, you know, either couldn't play Smash or you know, they had other priorities and they just had to drop the game. And then going into Ultimate, seeing people like, get their, their fire reignited right. into competing again, I think that's like, literally one of the best things to see. Oh, and it, for it's sure. exciting to see that old talent return. Yeah, I mean, you might you might take a break for a couple of years, and then you're like, whoa, there's a new there's a new Smash game out. Yeah, <laughs> 76 characters, 74 characters. Uh, count me in, and we got some crazy crossovers too in this game. Yeah, we got for sure. Vaughn with the character switch from Cloud to Lucina. Halsey feeling a lot more confident going Lucina in this matchup as Lucina's sure. sword, especially with her fade back fares, um, could deal a good, it could be a good, good tool against uh, Gordos and taking care of Gordos in general and even edge guarding DDD. Yeah, it felt like the Gordos were a huge component of that uh, previous game, especially in the edge guarding yep. situation. So taking, get, getting, being able to mitigate that a little bit is going to help out a lot. Definitely an Adamus. Oh, oh my, that was nice such tech. a great tech and awareness of that situation right there. Yeah, yeah. Just on the underneath side of uh, Lilac. Ooh. Okay, nice forward smash. Gets yep. the first kill. Great oh, uh, great pressure coming from Vaughn. Notice how he almost hit the Gordo back to Adamus. And I think when Adamus recognized that, he right. was really eager to get back into the stage. And Vaughn was able to capitalize and mm -hmm. edge guard him. Right, right. I think a lot of it is just like forcing a jump or some kind of situation. Oh, oh the forward smash he almost. so much shield pressure. The, the, the shield almost broke. 
<laughs> he had a full shield too, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, forward smash again. Really solid play from this Lucina. Yeah, I didn't think we were talking about this earlier um, when we saw Lucina on the screen, where Lucina, Ooh. very neutral base character, doing a really good job at juggling her opponents, but yeah. also, oh, I, nice. thought she, I thought she got the jab lock right there, but the also blade. doing a really good job at uh, when you land those forward smashes, you get those kills mad early, especially Battle oh, Ledge. Oh, for sure, for sure. And you don't have to tipper it either like you would for Mark. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's no tipper on the Falchion Blade. So um, yeah. no no worries on that. You don't have to worry about those consistent tippers that Marth has to deal with. No. Lucina's whole Ooh. blade is that big hitbox. No sour spot either. Yeah, we'll take it. Okay, finally gets the first KO. This is looking like a completely different game from that game one. Yeah, definitely, and uh, this is going to definitely be that switch that Vaughn was looking for, feeling more confident here and getting inhaled, which oh. inhales in this game are actually really good. And oh my oh, god, he, he, that was he, scary. he jumped out of a situation. He's like, nah, dude, you're not going to do this right now. No. Trying to hit the Gordo back with the fair, but mm -hmm. Adam has great spacing on uh, trying to recover with the Gordo. Throwing out the fair to pressure Vaughn more on his shield. Right, right. Yeah, I, I really feel like the, the Gordo play minus when uh, DDD is off stage is really getting mitigated. He just gets hit back by forward air or back air. Yeah. And then suddenly the pressure is turned turned around completely. Yeah, and that's the pressure. I like these empty hops too coming from Vaughn. Oh. Um, trying to mix up to see if he's either going to do rising fair or landing fair. Right. Even fade back neutral air can oh. definitely do it. But that back air coming out specifically so close to the blast zone, definitely going to do it, even if you're a heavy character like DDD. For sure, for sure. And the combo game that Lucina had on DD because uh, DD is so big was actually very solid. Every time like a forward air or an up tilt or a grab happened, it was like 40, 50%. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's when you find yourself getting juggled by Lucina, you don't have a jump. Yeah. You're easily going to be taking at least like 45%. Um, mm -hmm. Especially with how big your up tilt is, right. how, how much space her up air covers, up air actually being a combo starter for some of her moves and um, how to proceed with pressure. Right, right. Yeah, another empty hop right there. Actually starting out the game with the dancing play, which um, right. although it's uh it people fall out of it in this game pretty consistently, still a move that could shield poke and actually take KOs of their own if people are not expecting it to KO by the right. ledge. Right. No, very true, very true. Already a lot of percent on Lucina. Yeah, Adam is doing a way better job at the opening of this game compared to the last game, but rolling back, Vaughn's going to be able to take advantage of that. Yeah. He's going to deal a good amount of percent of his own as he spaces himself out with fairs. Mm -hmm. well, speaking of like spacing in general, like Adamus playing DDD, DDD being a character that has a pretty, pretty far out hitboxes himself. Right, right. I think not having that third platform makes it a little bit stronger for the way DDD wants to like take up space on the stage. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Oh. I was low key scared. I thought oh, he was gonna go dodge. for it. Yeah. I thought he was gonna go for it. That was intimidating. I like the little air dodge right at the end though. Very, very tricky. Okay, we'll recover. Gordo off the ledge. Now back to center stage. Like a down tilt. Oh, oh, instead going for the down smash, thinking that Adamus was actually going to roll into Vaughn, perhaps. But um, I would have liked to see a jab lock there, especially since the down tilt sets up perfectly for those jab lock situations. But the up air catching Adamus, and uh, we're talking about how strong up air is, especially yeah. so close to the, the ceiling blast zone. Yeah. Definitely going to take Adamus's first stock. For sure, for sure. Very, very even so far in this, this game three. Okay. Great recovery there, opting to go for that low ledge recovery, knowing that Lucina's recovery actually goes pretty far. Right, right. Okay. Just nine percent. This is not this is very, very doable. Very completely even right now. Caught him on the platform. That could have been a huge thing. Oh, he combos oh. off the Gordo! Yeah, he did. And that's that Nair I was mentioning, that feedback Nair, which I haven't seen so much from Vaughn, but Vaughn doing a great job at holding it on his own, just using up air to his advantage. Right. Okay, gets the grab. Tries to do the jump in with the back air. Yeah. Uh, the Gordo is also very strong on uh, keeping oh, your recovery he safe. Knew. Oh. He knew. He knew it was going to land right in front of him. Fortunately, right. mistiming the forward smash, but still applying all that pressure with those empty hops into turnaround forward smash. Yeah. I mean, that that is a lot of pressure on the side on the recovery like that. If he keeps doing that every single time, it's going to be very, very difficult for DD to get back. Yeah, definitely. He tries to go for the jump inhale, trying to bait Vaughn to get closer to him. Oh, rolls onto the platform, taking yeah. extra damage. That's right. exactly what Adamus wants. Right, forward tilt. A lot of good percent here from DDD. Oh, and the Gordo right to the face. Nice grab. Gino try to go for that up air, yup. And that will That's KO. A strong up air at that. And we are in a last stock situation here in game three. 
the shield damage on the Gordo. That's, that's the character, man. Oh he does so much God. shield pressure that it's so scary. You and he lives for so long that this is an even right here, even match. That back oh, here yeah. dealing Easy. so much percent right there, oh. trying to hit the Gordo back, which he does successfully do it, but he trades at the in the in the end of the situation. Right, yeah, both of them getting hit by Gordo there. Okay, back throw. Can he get the edge guard? Sets Ooh, up with jumped. the Gordo. He oh, jumped. I was so scared there because he had used his jump already. If he got hit by that, full, that oh my gosh, yeah, that smash attack would have definitely uh, put him in a bad position. Right, right, and very even in this game three last talk. Okay, Gordo again, keeping him safe on the recovery. I like the patience though coming from Adamus, recognizing the situation and what a close game this is. Oh, no Using shield. the over for shield pressure. And he knows oh. he knows there's no shield. Oh he can shield pressure God. him right now. I want to see a forward smash. Oh, I there's see no forward shield. Fish. There's no shield on the Lucina. Although he's going to have to land oh. in the back air, connecting that back air, starting from her waist up. And it is such a big hip.